Hi everyone, this is Jenny from Spectrum Noir. Everybody's been asking me how I do my coloring on top of glitter and so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys all the way from the very beginning. So let's get started. What I got here is I have some double stick tape and I'm going to peel off the cover but don't discard that part. This is the double stick part. I'm going to set this here. Actually I don't have room so I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to take the, the part that I peeled off of the double stick tape. So this is just the scrap paper. I'm going to use this as a transfer sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stickers here and I'm going to peel off the sticker that I want. Which I've already selected this one so let's pull it off. You have to be pretty careful with it. Make sure you get all the little pieces out of it. And there's my sticker. So now I'm going to stick it sticky side up and get it off of my fingers that's the trickiest part so there I have my sticker upside down with a piece of fuzz in it let's get the fuzz out there we go so there's my sticker the tricky part is getting your fingers off like I said so sometimes you need a little tool to hold it down to get your fingers off of there there we go so there's my sticker. So that's how I get started. Now let's set that aside and we get back our double stick tape. We take our double stick tape and we take a piece of paper. I have regular cardstock so I'm going to set this down on here. I'm using some scratch paper so I have a recycled paper so I have typing on it. It doesn't make a difference because you're never going to see that. And now I'm going to peel off my other backing. And now I have nothing but sticker paper. So now I'm going to take my transfer sheet with my sticker on it and I'm going to put my sticky paper on top of it and rub it down really well. Now I have my sticker transferred onto my sticky paper and it was much easier. Had I taken this, the sticker and tried to put it right on the double stick tape, it would have just been a mess. If I got it stuck in the wrong place, I would not have been able to pick it back up again. So that's how I got that onto my double stick tape. And now I'm going to take some micro fine glitter and just sprinkle it on. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. We girls love our bling, don't we? And now I'm going to burnish it really well. And I mean actually get the stuff down into the nooks and crannies of your sticker. Make sure it sticks really well. You don't want to have any white space between your glitter. So you want to make sure and have it nice and tight in there. love this. Whoops. So you make sure you have it all in there nice and tight and then you shake it off. I don't think I had it in really good right here. Shaking my whole desk. Okay I think it's in there nice and tight. And now I dump this back into my bottle of glitter. Okay, and now I get this back. Now I'm going to take a piece of felt on a block. I just have a piece of Velcro in here. And now I'm going to burnish it again really well and get all of the excess glitter off of there. I don't want to have any excess glitter because I want to pick up as little glitter on my, onto my marker as absolutely possible. So I got quite a bit off. I'm going to rub it a little bit harder and I double take a look at it because I want to make sure again that that's nice and tight in there. Okay so now I think that I've got it all clean and we're ready to start coloring. So that was the hardest part of the whole project. Now we have 
two ways that we can do this. Uh, you can use your markers directly onto the glitter or you can do some palette blending. And here what I have is a little bit of rubbing alcohol in a little tin and a the lid that goes with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some ink refill. I have CG4 and I'm going to drop it right here in the lid. If I didn't have the ink refill, I could just take the marker. I have a CG4 marker and just scribble on here. So either way will work. This is going to give you more ink than this way, but either one works just totally fine. I just happen to have the refill that I need right on my desk. So I'm going to dip into my rubbing alcohol, get my brush wet. I wish I had a smaller brush, but this is the only one I have today. I can't find my other brushes. So I'm going to dip into my ink, and now I'm going to start coloring. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start coloring on my leaf. You can see how nice and easy and friendly this is. It goes very quickly. Again, it would be much easier if had I had a smaller paintbrush, but I just could not find one today. And I need some more ink. Oops, that was a little bit too much, but that's okay. You guys can't see what I did. I kind of spilt it in the lid. In the essence of time, I'm not going to do any shading on here. You could do a little bit of shading. You can't do a whole lot with this technique. However, you really don't need it. It's just so stunning. Okay, there's my stem. Now if I wanted to put a little bit of shading in there, I could take a darker color. This is a Jade Green 3. I could take a smidgen of my darker color and you have to be very careful because you don't want too much. And I could just put it in here where I want a little bit of shading. So I would continue on with my green if I wanted any more green. I did make a mistake right here. I do have a little bit too much green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off my paintbrush. Squirting on a little bit of rubbing alcohol. I'm going to take actually the rubbing alcohol on my piece of felt and I'm going to stick it right back down in there and I'm going to try to lift some of that green up and I did. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll pick it up some more. So there's my green. I'm going to go ahead and continue on with my yellow now. I'm going to go ahead and do this part with the marker directly onto the glitter. So I'm going to start down in here with my GB5. It's a dark orangish yellow. You can see how you don't need very much ink. And now I'm going to wipe off the glitter, just scratch it onto my paper, and I'm going to grab my CT4. So now I'm going to grab my CT4 and I'm going to kind of just blend into that darker color and pull it out.
You can see how fast and easy this project is. I absolutely love this. I'll go ahead and do the other flower a different color. I have CR8 here in my hand. You can see how putting the sticker down before you put the glitter, it kind of puts a border so it prevents bleeding outside the lines. It's pretty cool. Some people actually put the sticker on top of the glitter, but then the, the alcohol ink can run underneath the sticker, and I really don't like that, so I don't do it that way. I put my sticker down, and then I put my glitter down. And then if I wanted, I could take another red and I could shadow a little bit there. Let me grab one. Here's a DR5. And I put that on the back layer. I put it on the back layer where the petals join together. I put it on the back layer. And now if I want to blend that out a little bit, I barely just have to touch it with my lighter color. Wow, that gives it a lot of dimension already. And one more thing here. I'm going to go ahead and use a darker green. Oops, wrong end. And I'm going to fill this in. Add any little touches that I want to add in. I love this. They don't bleed together when you put your red on top of your yellow because those stickers are holding the ink inside. And there we go. I just want to do one little bit of blending right here to blend these two colors together a little bit. Just have to give it a little bit of juice and it'll bleed underneath the glitter and blend them together. And that's all there is to this technique. Now I'm gonna cut this out and glue it on a card and I will share with you on our website the finished card. So I hope you enjoyed my technique today is coloring with alcohol markers on fine micro glitter. So I hope you had a great day and please come back again for some more of my videos. Have a great one.